All right, today we're going over section 2.5, which is solving radical equations algebraically. To solve a radical, we move the radical to one side of the equation, then we do the opposite operation to both sides of the equation in order to get rid of the radical. At that point, we rearrange and solve. So we've got some examples that we'll solve and verify. The verifying is just we take our answer, put back into original, and see if it works out. This first one, we have three equals four root of x, so we need our root on its own, so we divide both sides by four. So we have three quarters equals root of x. Now to get rid of our square root, we square both sides. So three squared is nine, four squared is 16, that's equal to x. Now to verify, we just take our original equation and substitute in our 9 over 16. We have 3 is equal to 4 root of 9 over 16. So we have 3 is equal to 4 times square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4, these cancel out, so we have three equals three, so we have verified it. Okay, this one has a few more steps to rearrange, but same principle, so I'll add seven to both sides. So I've got 20 is equal to two root of x plus one, divide both sides by two. So I've got 10 is equal to root of x plus one, square both sides. So that gives us 100 is equal to x plus one. Subtract one from both sides. That gives us 99 is equal to x. We'll verify it now. So we have 13 is equal to two root of 99 plus one minus seven. We'll simplify what's inside our root first now. So we have 13 times 2 root of 100 minus 7. We can take the root of 100. So we have 13 is equal to 2 times 10 minus 7. So we have 13 is equal to 2 times 10 is 20 minus 7. So we have 13 is equal to 13. Next example, this one's a word question. The formula D is equal to a root of 13H can be used to estimate the distance of the horizon D kilometers from an observer H meters above the sea. An observer is in a hot air balloon that is attached to a 200 meter tower whose base is at sea level. How high above the tower must the balloon be so the observer's distance to the horizon is 100 kilometers. So our D is 100. So we have 100 is equal to the square root of 13h. We would square both sides. So that gives us 10,000 is equal to 13h. Divide both sides by 13. That gives us 769 meters is equal to h. However, we're asking how high above the tower, not how high above sea level. So we have to go 769 minus the height of our tower. So that's 569 meters is our H value. Now practice work for this section can be found on page 154, number four, five, seven to nine, 11 and 12. 